Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures. I'm High Lord Chamberlain, and this here is a bag from Bombshell Miniatures' latest Kickstarter campaign. And by the time you're watching this, it also should be available for public purchase on their website or wherever you get Bombshell Minis from. So, the model in question here is their new Chrissy model. And I haven't even popped it out of the bag yet. And I gotta say, big thumbs up to Bombshell Miniatures for actually getting their Kickstarter stuff out in a super reasonable amount of time. So our Chrissy model is not super big, but the armor should be pretty obvious to you, especially if you grew up watching any 90s anime, because it absolutely looks like one of the girls in Bubblegum Crisis. I don't remember what the, the night sabers, I don't remember the name of their actual armor, and I'm sure somebody's going to put it in the comments below and, and re-educate me, or my own family members are going to talk trash because I don't remember, but whatever. So anyway, you do have a choice of three different heads. You've got a vaguely Iron Man looking one, a full-on night sabers one with very delicate antennae, so be careful there, and a unhelmeted... 80s hairdo looking model. So obviously I'm going with the hard suit. And let's take a look at the actual model and how it stacks up. I'm going to go ahead and clip off the bits that we need the head and fix the leg there and we'll see how she stacks up to some other models on the tabletop. And you can ignore all the glue all paint all over my fingers there for a little bit hopefully. Well that wasn't that hard but Chrissy here is all finished. And yeah, it's totally a night saber hard suit. I think they were called hard suits. Right, let's take a look at her compared to some other models. So my first thought, uh, obviously, I shouldn't say obviously, she would be used for Counter Blast, which is the game that Bombshell Miniatures puts out. But you could totally, I could totally picture her in line with something like Star Saga, for example. Um, if we're going to put a 40k model there, I'm afraid she's just going to get dwarfed. The proportions are kind of on the smaller side. This is more like actual 28 millimeter, 25 millimeter than say, you know, maybe like more in line with a Frostgrave figure. So I guess if you wanted to do like Rogue Stars from Osprey and North Star, you might be able to have her fit in pretty well style-wise. The only issue is her limbs are very thin here, so you're gonna have a hard time. I think she's gonna look a little bit on the smaller side compared to a lot of other models out there because it seems like a lot of our models these days are skewing towards the bigger stuff. I just grabbed a random figure from a Cool Minis Hate, Chronicles of Hate game. I figured this might be a fun one to see just out of curiosity and give us a good size indicator of stuff like Zombicide and Invader when that comes out. This was the only Cool Mini game I had handy, sorry. I know that's not the most helpful, but the fact that you get three different heads, I guess if you wanted to try making a mix and match team of, oh, what were they called? I don't know. The Bubblegum Crisis Girls, you could, the Night Sabers, wow, my memory is just slipping today here. You might be able to fit her in with something like that. I think she's just going to be too big for a 40k equivalent, and outside of something like, you know, smaller scale stuff. Having a random Street Masters figure. If you wanted to throw her in as some kind of tokusatsu henshin hero type, you know, metal hero in a game like Street Masters and homebrew your own character, that might work there. My other thought was maybe as like a Spryer or something for uh, Necromunda, but she's still a little too small and thin and light on the details compared to a typical GW figure these days. So going to be a hard sell, but on the other hand, I am going to have a lot of fun painting this thing up, and I can pretty much guarantee that it's going to be painted up like Pris from Bubblegum Crisis. I'm thinking we might try using like a metallic blue. That might be fun to kind of mess around with. So, something different. And I think this is the very first Bombshells mini model that I've actually done on the YouTube channel. Surprisingly, I put together quite a few counterblast models. Anyway, hopefully this has been helpful. If you were curious about the model itself when it was out during Kickstarter, it should be available in Bombshell's web store very soon. So give them a look if you're interested. They have all kinds of other interesting stuff in their Bombshell Babes line. If you are looking for any kind of interesting, fun female models of any shape, size, genre, you name it, they probably got it. So with that said, this is High Lord Tamberling with Obscurities and Miniatures saying thanks for watching and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.